Hi, Michael Buffer here, and you are watching Lights Out. This is Fessel Khan for Lights Out, proudly sponsored by Spartans Law, and we're here at Bournemouth Beach. Delighted to be joined by a man who has got a wonderful and amazing opportunity this Saturday night in his hometown at the Vitality Stadium. Chris Billen Smith takes on Lawrence Akoli for the WBO Cruiserweight World Title. Chris, how are you doing? Has training camp gone, and how confident are you going into Saturday night, mate? Yeah, it's been a great camp. You know, I've been in all year um, training. Uh, obviously had this date penciled in for a long time since last summer so from January I've been grafting towards this date and we've always been trying to get a world title and now we've got it so uh, yeah very excited for Saturday and feeling very confident. I mean it's such an interesting fight because you've got two fighters that know each other so well I'm, I'm hearing you've done over 300 rounds of sparring you know your former stable mates obviously Lawrence is now with uh, Sugar Hill Stewart but just want to sort of go back to the, the sparring between you and Lawrence at that time you were stable mates but going back to that sparring you know what was your initial thinking after you sparred Lawrence Did it, was it there you felt to yourself do you know what if we do get in the ring one day if we do get in the ring one day I know I've got I've got what it takes to beat you yeah definitely towards the end um I started improving a lot more and growing as uh, into the weight a lot better, and uh, yeah, and um, you know, I, I, I never thought at that time when I was sparring him that we'd be fighting. So I never really thought, oh yeah, I'd beat Lawrence now or anything like that. But once he left the gym, me and Shane had conversations, and uh, you know, here's the opportunity. I mean, one of the things that Lawrence possesses is that awkward style of his. Um, many have tried coming on top of that style, and they've obviously not been successful, but. How confident are you that you are the guy to be the first guy that beats Lawrence Cody, takes his belt? And also, how do you deal with that awkward style that he presents in the ring? Yeah, most people go into the ring with Lawrence not having that experience. So they've got 12 rounds to figure it out. Um, I've already figured it out so I can get to work from the off and nullify all those, all that awkwardness and, and what he does. So, um, yeah, I think... Uh, I think that gives me a huge edge uh, to everyone else that Lawrence has been in with and makes it um, even more difficult for Lawrence. I mean, the, the, this place in Bournemouth, uh, over the last year, it's been on a, a massive buzz. I mean, they've you know, cemented their survival in the Premiership. They've, su they've surprised so many people. This is a third show in over a year that we're having that you're obviously headlining. I mean, as a local lad, is there any more motivation that you need to sort of you know, finish the story off by becoming a world champion in front of your hometown? No, this is it. You know, this is the ultimate for me. The, the dream has always been to win a world title at the Vitality Stadium. So uh, to, to get that opportunity now, I'm, I'm very close to it. Obviously, we're four, four days away. Um, so, yeah, I'm just excited to, to get in the ring and, uh, and, and perform and concentrate on the job at hand. Um, very privileged to be in this position, so there's a huge amount of pressure. But uh, I'm welcoming it, and uh, that's, that's what will bring the best out of me. We're expecting a full crowd on Saturday night. Now, I know you're a huge Bournemouth football fan. Um, I've seen a lot of the players at your fights in, in the past. They've obviously got a game up at Everton the following day, but can we expect some of the Bournemouth players to be at ringside on Saturday night, Chris? Yeah, I saw, uh, saw a couple of them last night, actually. They were uh, having, um, they were in the, the hotel. They were, had a little sort of meal in the hotel. So, um, yeah, I spoke to them and yeah, most of them are gutted. I was like, they'll be pulling up with injuries this week, trying to blag it, so they don't have to go up a day early. I hope not, because I'm a Liverpool fan and I'm really hoping you send Everton down this week. <laughs> uh, but yeah, no, um, a couple of them who are, who are actually injured um, have uh, are come in, I think two of the players. Um, yeah, so uh, it'd be good, good to have them there. Shame the rest of the lads can't, but they've got a job to do. I'm not going to keep you for too long because I know there's so much of a media type of type of work you've got to do as the day goes on. Um, but just tell the fans, how does this fight end on Saturday night? Chris Billum smith um, stoppage, TKO, KO, what, whatever. But um, this is not going to points. Oh man, Chris Billum smith we wish you the best of luck. Enjoy it and hopefully we get to speak to you after fighting on Saturday. Thank you, mate. Cheers.